Hello everyone, and welcome back to uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D Master Quest 100% run by yours truly, the Funky G. In the last episode, I left off, we were about to go to the Water Temple, but I did say that off screen, I was going to go around and catch a big pose. I did not lie to y'all, I actually did that. You can probably see by my menu over there that I do have a big Poe in my inventory right now. Well, that is the last of all ten big Poes that we need to catch. I caught all ten of them. Now, I hella forgot that you actually have to catch ten different big Poes in ten different places. The randomizer really has spoiled me. Um, in the randomizer, I believe the big Poes just keep respawning everywhere and you just keep catching them. Um, and most of the time I just leave it so you only have to catch one Poe, so just turn it in and boom, you're done. But in the original game, you had to go around and catch ten big Poes in ten different spots on Hyrule Field, and it was really uh, tedious. I'm glad I did that off screen. It took me a little while. I actually had to look up a guide to find two of them, so I couldn't just walk around and find them all. You have to trigger them by walking over like very specific spots. But anyway, let's talk to the dude and get our reward for having the 10th one turned in. So my card has 900 points right now, right? If you have 1,000 points, he will give you uh, the reward. So let's do that. You brought a Poe today, yo. Hell yeah. Give me that big give me that big Poe. Give me that rupees that I don't even need because I already have 500. But here's the 100 points. If you earn 1,000, you'll be a happy man. Wait a minute. Wow. You've earned 1,000 points. Young man, you are a genuine ghost hunter. Is that what you expected me to say? <laughs> because of you, I have extra inventory of big Poes. So this will be the last time I can buy one of these ghosts. You're thinking about what I promised would happen when you earned 1,000 points. <laughs> don't worry. I didn't forget, just take this. Hell yeah, empty bottle, your throwaway recycling, dope! Obviously, in the scope of uh, Zelda, having another empty bottle is awesome. So, I very rarely have all four bottles in this game, but now you can see I have them all. One, two, three, four. One is equipped, obviously. And now we have all the bottles in the game. So that's pretty cool. Ooh, also, I forgot I took the time to go around and get all of the dang trading quests done last time. So now we have... Mother effin' Big Oron Sword, which is dope. Alright, so in terms of kicking off this episode, or this session, that's all I wanted to do before we go to the Water Temple. Now I gotta remember the song. Oops. Gotta remember how to play the song. I know the song, I was just trying to figure out which note was which. L R Y Y X Larry Larryx. I don't know. That's there's no A in there, so I gotta stop calling it Larry. But anyway, to Lake Hylia we go to take on what is not arguably the worst temple in the game. At least in the original game. I mean, the water temple's grown on me over the years. I don't hate it as much as I used to because I've done it so many times. It's like whatever at this point, but. It doesn't change the fact that it still is the worst temple in the game. Alright, so I think if I just go under here, bust out my good old handy dandy hookshot. We're going in, y'all. Who's ready? Kicking it off with Big Brain. Alright, so with Water Temple, I'm usually pretty systematic about how I clear it out. And I'm probably going to be doing exactly the same thing I usually would do. If I was doing this and I never played it before, or even on like a like a queen a clean sweep like I usually would do on a um, randomizer, where I just make sure I check every room, also to make sure I remember that all the maps are backwards in this game. All right, so that door's locked. That door's usually locked. Let's see, this is the, that's where the boss, the final boss is usually. Okay, and then the, I'm just checking what the different puzzles are on the different floors right now. The water still starts on the top floor. Looks like this is similar. I don't know about that switch right there, though. That seems different. Anyway, let's go down below. And check out what's going on down here. Ding, dang. Alright, we got the yellow room. Okay. So this usually leads to where we meet up with Princess Ruto. I'm assuming that's still the same. I'm just going to check all of my, my bearings right now. We got a locked door there. Looks like we got another locked door over here. Interesting. We do have an open path over here. Let's see what's going on down here. Oh, three locked doors. Wow. So all the directions on the lower half of the dungeon are already locked. We have to figure out a way to open them. Cool. 
Well, let's go over here and say hi to Ruto, because he's probably still here, right? Probably left that scripted event the same. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, you. If I'm right, Funk? You're Funk, aren't you? It's me, your fiancé, Ruto, Princess of the Zoras. I never forgot the vows we made to each other seven years ago. You're a terrible man to have kept me waiting for these seven long years. But now's not the time to talk about love. I'm sure you've already seen it. Sora's domain, totally frozen. A young man named Sheik saved me from under the ice. But my father and the other Zoras have not yet... I want to save them all. I want to save Zora's domain. You, you have to help me. This is a request from me, the woman who's going to be your wife. Funk, you have to help me destroy the evil monster in the temple, okay? Inside the water temple, there are three places that you can change the water level. I'll lead the way. Follow me. Okay, bye. I think the spots where you can change the water temple level of water is the same. I think. Fairly certain. I don't think they changed that base uh, aspect. Okay, so down here we have torches that we can't light at the moment. So, we going up, baby. Follow the Ruto. Yeah, I don't think they changed the basic concept of this dungeon. I think they just changed the order of what you can do. Okay, that was usually an explodey wall. Can I actually go in here? What's what's going on in here? If I go in here underwater, anything? Oh. This is one of those switches I can shoot with the hookshot? Absolutely. Ooh, big chest. This is usually just a small key. Well, this could be map, this could be compass. Actually, I actually don't think I can open a chest underwater, so I have to wait till I lower the water level, but note that that's there. Could be map, could be compass. Could be all the above. No, it can't. It can only be one thing. Could be long shot shit, I don't know. It could be it could be the, the dungeon treasure. I really don't know. Alright, well, uh this door is even locked, which is kind of interesting. How in the fuck do you ask? Okay, sure. I guess we'll just play the song. Uh, Zelda's Lullaby, which is uh, Shay Shay. Shay Shay Kool Shay Shay Kool Shay Shay Kool Alright. So all these doors are just locked on me, man. That's unfortunate. Ah! Okay, can I open this door? Huh. I wonder if I can't. Well, I don't have fire arrows. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just dins fire this bitch. Why, why, why make it complicated? I can't even get fire arrows till I do this dungeon. I'm not sure why I put dins fire there, but I could have put it where I have that empty bottle. Anyway. Alright, our first room we're actually able to open. What's going on in here? Ah, these guys. Suck it! Easy. Is it? Just one? Nah, there's gotta be more. Gotta be more. Oh, yeah. You got some Muzalfos for me, huh? Yeah, dude, it's fun to have the bigger on sword now. I'm just gonna wreck shop. Ain't nobody gonna handle me, dog. Another big chest? That's probably gonna be mapped then. Also, with this. Ooh. 20 oopies I don't need. Dope. What do we got? Compass. Alright, so the map's probably in the, the room above me. If I had to guess. Uh, well, oh yeah, make sure you save early, save often. We don't need to be losing progress like we did before. I might leave bombs on. I don't know. I'm not sure what we're going to need in this dungeon. TBH. It looks like... Finishing that room unlocked some hookshot spots, so maybe I can get up higher now. Maybe I can get up here for you a hookshot. Oh. If I could hookshot far enough, I could. I wonder if I can hookshot from up here and reach. Let's see. Oh, yes, indeedy. Sneaky deaky, baby. This would actually be dope if this was long shot. Wouldn't that be crazy if this is long shot? That'd be crazy. This dungeon is crazy! I actually I can't believe that that was the first thing. Well then. We don't need to do the water temple then, guys. We can just leave. Just kidding. We have to do it because we need the stupid medallion. But fine. Also, I'm 100 percent in the game, so we got to get everything. But you start off with the long shot. That's crazy to me. All right. I'm certainly not mad at it. Okay. Let's look around. Okay, so the, these doors... I don't think any of the doors open. That's still locked. That's still locked. 
I'm assuming the one below here is still locked. Yeah, those are all still locked doors. They didn't add anything to like this water, it doesn't look like. I was maybe thinking that maybe they threw something in the water here, but they did not. Well, can I long shot my way up higher from here? Shit. If I have the long shot, I can probably do something, right? Let's take a look around before I go in the middle room. Aha! See, I can get up. That's crazy. Okay, hold up. Before I do that, can I not go in this middle area? I can. I'm going to go in here first. Because, well, why not, you know? Oops. See, this is why I didn't want to fucking put... I shouldn't put bombs on if right now when I'm not used to the buttons. I haven't played this game in a couple weeks now, so you have to bear with me. If I feel a little rusty, feel a little feel a little like my controls are not proper in my brain. Alright, so I can still raise the water level here. That's still an option. Uh, there's still some shit up in here. There's some torches up there and stuff. Let me raise the water, though, because we do want to do that, I assume. I don't need to go to that one room where the hook shot or this long shot was at now. But all the lower level doors are locked, so mid levels where we gonna have to go regardless. So we might as well raise the water level. Let's not forget we need to go underneath. Oh, that shit's locked too. The underneath room's locked as well. Well then, never mind. Maybe it'll open when I light up these torches. Let's uh, let's give that a shot maybe. Huh. I wonder if I could, uh, first of all, boxes. Huh, okay. Uh, there is a block of time up there, interestingly enough. What is it again for the time? Yiller Yiller, that's what it was. I gotta remember my acronyms. Yiller Yiller, dog. Yiller Yiller. Okay, so now my hookshot should be able to land me up there, I'm assuming. Did I move the block? Oh. Okay. How do I get up there? Can I get up there? You know what? There might be a hookshot spot right there that I can't see. That's just another time block. Um. Well... I just want to light those torches, but I feel like I got to stand up there to do it. Uh, how do I do that? And I'm like, in my brain, I'm like, there's no other way to do that. There's no, like, alternate way to do that. Uh, uh, unless there's another freaking time block around here that I can use. But I don't think so. Um, it seems like Din's Fire is the way, but I don't know if I can actually hit all the damn torches. I'm about to find out, though. I'm about to find the fuck out, y'all. Let's find out. Let's do it. Fuck it. Let's do it. I don't think it's going to hit them all. I think it's too high. I don't think it hit any of them. Huh. Well, I might give up on this for the moment, because I'm not 100% sure I know what to do with this. But I, it's like, I don't... Hmm. What else is there? Am I right? I don't have anything else that's going to help me with this situation, right? Bombs, bomb shoes... Bo I mean, my arrows is how I would light stuff up if I could... If I had fire arrows, but I don't have fire arrows. I also only have five arrows in general because of all the freaking Poe killing I was doing. Alright, we'll come back to this, I guess. I'm not sure right now. Come back to that. Because now we're on mid-level. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so that path looks open. This path has a switch. Let's check this. There's usually an eyeball switch under here. Now apparently we just hit that and go. Okay, so that's a time switch. Good to know. 
A little concerning we haven't found a skull till yet, but we haven't really done that much. Mostly just seen a bunch of locked doors. Speaking of skulls, Liz, I hear one. Oh, hello. Sir, we don't play with the Zolfos today. No, sir. No, sir. Right. I hear Skulls. Uh, I'm assuming it's behind that cage. I'm going to check all the boxes just in case. Alright, well. Uh... Wow, that actually worked. I'm surprised that worked. I just did that out of, like, reflex. Okay, I can light this torch for sure. I didn't realize there was a torch right there. Absolutely can light that. Alright, so that's the skull tool that I'm going to be able to grab. Because it's probably in the box, or behind the box. That works too. Alright, first skull tool in this dungeon. Get it in. I think there's, like, four skull tools in this dungeon. Or maybe more. That was awful. Was trying to fucking Assassin's Creed my ass. Came out of nowhere. Bitch ass. I like the extra little detail to hookshot spots in this game where there's like a little hook on the spot. To like make the hookshot spot make sense, I guess. Oh, this actually looped and came out on the top floor. Interesting. I forgot it did that. Well then. Alright, so we've been on that path. We got the skull tool out of there. There's a blue switch here. I don't know if there's any blocks around here to put on there. There absolutely is one right here. Wait, is that a block? Uh, I don't know what that block's about, but I can't lift it up anyway, so who cares? Alright, well, wait. Oh, no, no, I didn't go this way yet. I only went behind the one where I hit a switch. Okay, this is the only other way I can go right now in this direction, so we'll check it out. You think it was always like that? It's just not obvious because it's not as detailed? You mean this, the little block that's there, DJ? Is that what you mean? Do I have to carry one of these blocks back to hit that switch? Because that's a long way to carry that shit. And I don't know if it'll actually work. The hookshot target is just baked into the texture in the N64. I see. You think so? You think there's supposed to be little hooks there? Even on the N64 version? I guess it's not unreasonable to think that that's the case. So can I really carry- oh god, okay, hold up. I, I, uh... So can I really carry this block back? Like, can I do that? I guess I can. This is assuming I can actually make this jump. Okay, you can. Alright. Well, there answers that question. Can I bring this back? Yes, yes, I can. Well, well, well. Good times. That was an interesting puzzle. I would never have thought like that you'd have to bring a block from another room to come out here and put a block. But you know what? Clever shit. Clever shit. Not just clever so much, but just like well designed to be able to actually do that. I don't know where this skull is at. I'm checking everything. There's a crystal switch here. I'll probably activate the guys are usually used to get up. Uh, I'm gonna shot this. Seems like you should check all those apparently, even though they don't always all get auto targeted. Is there a Skulltula in this freaking? Like I hear Skulltula. He might be in the above room. All right, well let's hit the switch. Oh. Interesting. We hookshot our way up, eh? Somewhere. From, from this side, maybe? Indeed. Indeedly do! Wait, th this dungeon is so much different when you have the long shot right away. Like, holy shit. It changes the entire aspect of this dungeon when you can just long shot your way up places. Ah, there it is. Sorry, it didn't pop out, so I wasn't sure. Alright, that's our second skull tool of the dungeon. Dope. Until I find like four of them, I'm not even going to check if I have them all because I know there's at least four. Alright. Uh, because we have long shot, I think we can go ahead and just uh, activate this bitch. 
to get back to the top level. I don't think there's anything else on the mid level either. Because one way looped around, the other way was locked with a locked door that I couldn't open. Cause I haven't found any keys yet. Holy shit, I didn't even think about that. I didn't find not a one key. Not a one small key from a one small chest at all. All I've gotten is two big chests. Compass and fucking long shot. We don't even have the map yet. Alright, so let's see here. I think this is the exit to go back out the dungeon. We haven't been able to open this yet. That's actually, we already went through there anyways, looped around. Do we really need to go toward the end of the dungeon already? I don't have any fucking keys, so... Maybe I need to go over here. I don't know. This is just the end of the dungeon though, isn't it? I don't have the big key, so... I guess we could double check. Yeah, this is just the end. Wow. Look how fast those damn things are going. I don't even know how I'm supposed to do this. What the hell? Either way, I'm good right now. I can't even get up there, so it's okay. I don't have the big key. There's no point. Maybe there's a hookshot spot in there. And I don't even have to worry about it. It's possible. But right now, uh, what am I doing? That's the real question. Also, did you guys see that? There's a hookshot spot over to there. Wow. That saves everything. You don't have to even... Wow. Okay. You don't even have to. That's pretty dope, actually. Alright. So, okay. The only thing I can conclude now is that I need to figure out the torch puzzle in the center room so I can do whatever that needs to do. Because that's the only thing I have that I can get to, I think. Because even all the mid-level doors are either... I think I, the mid-level actually cleared out pretty good. Because that's the one that had the switch. Where I went through that little pathway and there's a Spultula. I just did that to get up to the top level, third level. And then this way doesn't have a door at all. So, yeah. And then I just did this path as well. And that path's where the blocks was at that I carried over here. So, yeah. I think I just need to lower the water level back down to the bottom. And, uh, figure out exactly what I need to do in the middle room. Wait, can I get in the middle room with the with the water all the way raised? Well, let me go in there. Can I go through doors? Well, I can't go through this way. But can I go to the mid-level door? Will it be open? Let me check. Anyway, without spoiling, makes you wonder if you intend, if they intend, sorry, they intend you to use a certain obscure mechanic for the spikes, but you really have to get out your, go out of your way for it, so probably not. Obscure mechanic like what, DJ? Okay, this door's openable. Okay, now the water level's raised in here, which is not a common thing. You actually cannot usually go in here with the water raised all the way up. But, now I can, and that changes everything. Hallelujah. I'm glad I had that big brain, big brain moment because I was about to be like, how the fuck am I supposed to do this? Booyah, baby. And that probably opens up the door at the bottom. Yup, yup, yup. Okay. See, you got to really change your thinking with this dungeon, man. I love this. I love this. But it's also tricky dicky. You got to be ready for that shit. All right. Anyway, down into the depths we go. Whee. I'm assuming this is where we're going to get our first key, because what else are they going to... I mean, that's the only thing I'm missing at this point. I need keys, man. Give me keys, man. I don't need your stinking rupee, man. I need keys. There's a chest on the map, so I'm assuming that's got to be a key. There's no way in hell they're going to give me the map before a key at this point. When all, we, all we're getting blocked by right now is key progress. Also, they put walls in this room, which is interesting. That's different. This room is usually one big open room, but they added walls. There's definitely some enemies up there, or something. There's our crystal swish. The hell is this? Oh, sneaky crystal switch. Look at you. I was just walking over here to see if I could climb those, not realizing that's exactly what I needed to do. And I'm actually okay with letting the enemies pop out, because I might need to have them get killed to unlock a chest. 
Is it just one of those guys? Because those guys are easy peasy. Alright, so the chest is already available, I guess. I gotta do this. Indeed I do. Alright. Indeedly do. Alright. We got our first small key from a small chest. Looking good. Now, the question is, which door do I use it on? I think there's only one door I can actually get to that has a lock. And I think it's the one that's on the top floor, I want to say. Okay, yeah, because the bottom floor has a bunch of locked, like, portcullis gates, but no door. I think the only actual locked door is the one on the third floor. So, anyway, we need to get out of here. Right here. Back up to the third floor, and we'll go in the only locked door that we can go in right now, which is, uh, one of these ways. Probably this way. Or all the way on the other side. Alright, cool. We finally got a key. Let's make some progress. Ooh, if we go this way, I think this leads to where we fight Dark Link, usually. So that fight might be coming soon. Can't wait for that. I do have bigger on sword, though, so we should be able to whoop his candy ass, which will be nice. Okay, so this room's a little different. Uh, there's only... Huh. There's only one elevator here. And there's a hookshot spot way the fuck over there. And that's all, folks. There's nothing else. Oh, there's a crystal switch. I lied. What's that do? Oh, yeah. That makes things a lot easier. <laughs> Lots of uh, Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, I didn't go so well. Oopsies. Had the right idea, just uh, didn't uh, execute properly. Gotta hit the right part of these spots to make sure I actually hook shot to the top part of it. What? No, come, dude, dude, stop moving me up. What the? What the? What the balls? Oh, you know what? I probably need to hook shot so I slide down and land on the right spot. That's probably what I need to do. I don't think I can actually land on top of the platform. I think I understand. I think I understand. So, are there two that are lined up? There are. These two right here. These two right here. So, if I do this, then we're Gucci. There we go. And then, well, what's this? Let's see what this does. Ah, you sneaky bitch. You sneaky bitch. Love Navi when she's actually helpful. Gotta love it. Ah, this room. With all the uh, serpent head things. Uh, okay. Do I gotta... Huh. Oh, shit. Fucking throw three Skulltos at, or, uh, Stolfos at me, bro? Holy shit, I'm getting wrecked. Dude, big Goron sword, though. Melt him like butter, baby. Like butter, baby. Ooh. Man, I almost got killed, though. Those guys hit hard on this freaking... I gotta remember it's like hero mode, master quest is, so you get wrecked. Okay, so, oh, okay, that raised up these guys. Or at least this one. Now I can use that to go across to Mya. Can I climb over this bitch? Absolutely. Dude, drop the fuck down, homie. Thank you. Can I get some heals? Because I fucking need it. Oh yeah, give me just let me let me get that fairy though. I need that shit. Do I have a fairy in a bottle already? I do. You know what? I don't mind taking another one though. I don't mind taking another fairy. Ain't nothing wrong with that on Master Quest ass game. Let's that's, that's cool with me. Oh, save it too. 
You always love the design of the room, this room in the OG version of the game. It is pretty memorable where you have to like, you know, basically do the things in the right order. It is pretty memorable, no doubt. I'm not sure what this green thing he's like. Why is he doing a thing? Like, do I play? Maybe I can put a block of time there. I'm curious. Let's put. Let's play the block of time song and see. Block of time song. The song of time. Let's play the song of time and see. Is it a block? It is not a block. Uh. Is it the scarecrow? Maybe. Not the scarecrow either. I'm not sure what it is then. Interestingly enough. <sighs> Sorry. Coughing fit because of the dry throat. Cool, love it. <sighs> My throat got all scratchy. I'm like, damn it. And when it does that, it starts making me want to cough. Whew, we're okay, I swear. We're okay. And again, another one of those situations where she's. Reacting to something, but I don't know what. Huh. Maybe if I put a bomb there? Or a. Oh, oh, let's just hammer there. No? Huh. I'm just not sure what the heck she's trying to tell me to do. It's just weird. I'm just not sure what she's reacting to. But all right, guys. I think it's uh, a little time, a little time for boss time. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now I don't know if this fight's exactly the same as the original, but I'm hoping so, so I can wreck his tits. I'm a little worried about Master Quest version though. He gonna hit hard. Nice. Get fucked, homie. Yeah, bigger on swords gonna be make this so fucking easy. It's not even funny. Now remember, he's gonna have 15 hearts like I do, but I also have bigger on swords, so it's over, dog. Whooped his ass. Bigger on sword for the win, baby. And that's why I grabbed it early, not just for him, but for just plowing through enemies in general. Like Stalfos melt after three hits too, so it's like I'm just gonna be doing that for the foreseeable future, for well, the rest of the game. All right, there might be something here. Like the way to open the door or whatever. So that's cool. No chest in this at all, huh? Interesting. All right. Time for the serpent area. Everyone's favorite part of the game. Yeah, yeah, vortexes suck. We get it. Now they put hookshot spots, which is interesting. Interesting way to do this. I hear Skultla. Is it up on the wall here? Further over here? I didn't miss the Skultla, did I? Hold on. Alright, hold up. I hear it. I just want to make sure I'm not missing it. Well, you know what? Let me double check. Let me just make sure it's not just over here. I'm wasting my time. So it might be around the corner over here. It's like I hear it, but it could be over here. Oh, it's definitely not over here because I don't see that shit. Oh my god. They made this so much nicer with all the hookshot spots. Like, holy shit. This is just like, you don't even have to worry about it. Just hook shot around. You're good. You're Gucci. Ah, until you do that. Ah, didn't mean to do that. Ah, just get me out of here, dog. All 
Alright, so it must have been back over here and I just missed it. Oh, come on, man. I'm just looking for the skull tool I didn't see or hear. Where the hell is it? I hear it. I done heard that bitch. Where he at? Is it like actually in the vortex? I can't pull out my hook shot when I'm like half out of water. What the hell? Is it down there? Oh, he's up there. There it is. Okay. Good shit. He's at a weird. He's in like a weird spot that I just didn't notice. Okay, cool. I'm glad we found him. Yeah, this is the worst. This is like the worst room in the whole fucking dungeon in the original uh, playthrough, uh, Omega. So I have to concur with you on that. But you know what's nice about this version is they give you motherfucking hookshot spots, which is not in the original at all. These hookshot spots do not exist. That changes everything, man. Changes the game, player. Crap! I didn't mean to do that. Keep screwing it up. Stop screwing it up. Stop screwing around. Oh my god. Seriously, what the heck? Just, just let me out. Just let me out of here. Thank you. But yeah, see these hookshot spots? These are amazing. Not existed in the original. At least not these particular ones. There's some ones, there are some that are in there, but not all of them. Definitely not these ones that are like little pillars. Those did not exist. Okay, so this is back in this vortex room, which is funny because we haven't actually been in here yet. From the normal direction we would usually come in this way. But now we're coming in through the back way, which is cool. We'll check this first and see if this door... Has any opening things here? No, of course not. Means we must go in the underwater route. All right. So usually you shoot the switch and the crystal dragon in his mouth. That doesn't seem to exist. Okay. Let's see what's over here then. It doesn't seem to be locked like it usually is. So check inside all the boxes just to be sure. So wait, that was my third Skulltool token, right? That I picked up in this dungeon? One more and I will check to see if we have them all. In fact, I can just check now. I don't think we have them all yet though. No, we don't. I think there's at least one more. Do we need these boxes for something? Oh shoot, there's torches right there. Well then. Sneaky torches! Try to sneak up on me, dog. Oh, little sneaky torch. Try to sneak up on me, hee hee. Oh, little sneaky torch, I don't sneak up on me. Oh, little sneaky torch, you won't sneak up on me. All right, so now this door's open. Good, good, very good. Good times have been had by all involved. Anything cool down there? Uh, not necessarily. So I'm certain I need to go across, but I need to open the port calls first. Okay, there must be a switch or something down here that lets me do that. Or not. Ooh. Okay. Is there. S oh, that's the boss key over there. Huh. Interesting. Okay, you know what? I see exactly what to do. There is two torches next to that chest. You see that shit? I see that shit. So check this out. Puzzle solving. I can has it. Genius. That's what you call a funky genius, baby. Is it wrong that I'm enjoying this temple so much? I, I like this a lot. This temple has been 
way better than the original one. <laughs> Having the long shot early, like, makes you think about stuff way differently, and it's way more, like, I don't know, kind of more fun. It helps that I know the layout of this place, though. If I didn't know the layout of this place, this would be so confusing, so that does help. Alright, well, now we're here, and this is one of the portcullises on the first floor? Well, actually, yeah. Okay, so that door is just open now? Beautiful. Cool. Alright, so that's open. Uh, oh, this gate was locked before, wasn't it? Hold up. What does this one go to? Yeah, this was locked before. What the hell? Let's check this out. This was definitely locked before. And again, Ocarina of Time 3D helps memorize the layout better with color stripes. You enjoyed it blind? Yeah, actually, yeah. Uh, the color stripe thing is very helpful for the different levels of the dungeon, which I always thought was nice. When I played the Ocarina of Time 3D version for the first time, I thought that was a cool inclusion. I liked that a lot. Uh, am I to assume that this is the Scarecrow? Let's see. Ooh, there's torches up there, too. If it's not the torches, I'll just play the Song of Time, I guess. Or if it's not... Nope, Scarecrow Boy is there. Okay, so I can get up there with him. Or... What about these torches, though? I'll probably need to light them. Let me see if I can play, like... You know, I could probably just do it from here. As long as, as, long as I stand on top... Stand on top of this, I can probably just cast the spell and it'll hit those torches. The fact that I'm casting on top of water means nothing! Oh, it didn't work? Really? Huh. Well, hold on then. Let me see. Maybe behind one of these boxes or something. Because now I just have questions. And I need answers. Probably just out of range. Well, yeah, obviously. Gotta do something, though. Gotta do something, dog! Well, let's go up here and see what's going on. I think there might be something we can do up here. Oh, hello. Like, fight a couple of Stolfos, you know? That's important. Oh, God. Back off, homie. Back off, homie. All right, there's definitely a Skulltula here. We need that. Just double checking there. Okay, uh... Huh. How do I light these torches, then? Pray tell. If I can't hit them with Din's fire, maybe I'm too, I was too low? Let's try this. Maybe I have to get fire arrows? Actually, you might be right. I might have to come back here with fire arrows. Motherfuck. You know, I hate when I have to come back in a dungeon, but I guess it's possible that that's fire arrows required. I hate that, but it's whatever. Did I get all the Skulltulas in Fire Temple and Forest Temple? I kind of hope I did. I don't remember if I did. I fucking hope so, though. I feel like the only dungeons I remember I don't have them all right now is Deku Tree uh, and uh, Great Deku Tree and uh, what was the other one? Is this open down here too? This is open down here too. Nice. Um, Great Deku Tree and the Jabba Jabba Belly. Those are the two dungeons I remember not having all the Skulltals in. I already went back to Dodongo Cavern. I think I got all, all the Skulltals I was missing. I think so. I might double check that, but I think so. As for this dungeon, we know we can't get one Skulltal, so I won't get it complete until I come back with fire arrows, I guess. What are you what are you battling about now? Is it gonna be another scarecrow? I doubt it. I do not doubt it. Okay, scarecrow dude's there. Wow, okay. Well, let's just start with that, because fuck it. That's a different way to go through this room, I tell you what. They really make that scarecrow song needed. Okay, wait, I don't even have a fucking key for this. But maybe we could get one? Over here? Maybe? Did I ever pick up the map for this dungeon? I don't think I even got the map for this dungeon, now that I think about it. Oh god. 
I looked away for just a second. And it was just like, boss music. Here we go. Really? There's gotta be a key here, man. There's no treasure chest, though. The heck? That's crazy to me. There's gotta be a reason for this room, though. There's gotta be. Oh, there is a key. What the hell? He dropped it. Wow. I didn't even see that shit on the ground. It just it doesn't shine like it does in the original, so I didn't even notice. Wow. Well then. Got a key. Anyway, the mouse wheel really is the first thing to go in mouses, isn't it? Either the scrolling itself or the middle click? I guess. I haven't had a mouse go out on me in a while, though. Like, seriously. I can't think of the last... I, like, this mouse I've had... I have right now... I've had this shit for a long time. I got this with my first... When I bought this computer... Um... Well, I guess technically... I'll take that back. I got a new mouse when I bought this uh, setup. Because I got a new mouse and keyboard. But I have had it for a while. Anyway, yours has stopped clicking consistently. Well, stop clicking so much, sir. Um, I'm assuming I just gotta do the same thing in this room like I did the other room where I just didn't fire in the right spot. Light all these torches in the right at the right position. Maybe like from right here. Maybe, hopefully. Nice. Nailed it. Nailed it like a pro, baby. That was fucking nice. Okay. Oh, look at this room. It's got Dodongos in it. <laughs> so weird. But alright. I can't wait to bomb some Dodongos. Let's just throw some bombs down there for funsies. Oh, he actually ate that dumbass. Oops. You dumbasses. Anyway, you probably just cheaped out a bit too much. It didn't quite even get to two years? Wow. I mean, it's a mouse, man. They don't get that crazy expensive unless you're buying, like, some fancy ass. Fancy ass, fancy ass. Damn it, I was trying to drop it down. <laughs> Is there another one in here? What the hell? Bomb him. Fucker! Bitch ass. Alright, all the ding dang goes are dead though. I'm gonna roll into this box if I can. Uh, maybe I don't need to roll into it. Maybe I have to use it to get up. Wait, maybe not all the ding dangs are dead. Ding dong, the ding dangs are dead. Oh. Well, killing them all was my prerogativo, apparently. Alright, well, cool. Had fun with my bombs. Now we can get out of here, I suppose. Um, yeah. No chest in there or anything, so see ya. So now we're on the other side of where... We started this room. Oh, skull slot. All that work for a skull slot, huh? I mean, I do have the boss key already, to be fair. I just thought about that. I already have the boss key. What am I even doing? I don't need to do any more of this dungeon. I mean, I'm literally just doing it for the skull slots at this point. I just realized that right now. <laughs> anyway, we know there's one more skull slot I can't get without fire arrows. I assume that's going to be it, because I already got four skull slots. I didn't find the map, though, did I? I didn't find the map. Where the heck's the map? It's like, do I really want the map? I mean, I guess. Do I want it that badly? Not really. I'm just kind of crazy that I didn't get it. 
It's just crazy to me that I didn't find that shit, boy. It's like, I know I'm not finding the map in the dungeon. It's like, okay, did I really 100% it? Yeah, because I don't have to, like, I don't need the map. I see it on the map because I have the compass. Probably just in a side room I didn't have to go do. I mean, obviously it is because otherwise I would have found it already, but yeah, it's just crazy that I did not. I did not. I did not hit her. I did not. But like based where we are, based where we are on the map right now, it's not even anywhere near where we are. It's not on this side of the temple at all. Also, it's a dragon. What up, dragon? Welcome in, sir. How you doing? I'm just happy we found all the skulls, honestly. So, and I'm hoping, like I said, that last one in the fire arrow room is the last one, and I don't have to worry about it. Jeez, I say, I say we just go beat this temple. I said we rocked this temple pretty good. I said we just beat it. Fuck the map. I don't care. The map is not important. It's not a piece of heart. It's not a skull slug. It's whatever. Anyway, just let me know that they're you're doing movie night tonight at 6. Okay. Alien Resurrection. That's what you're going to play? It's been a while since I've seen that. I need to watch all the aliens again. Those are good movies. At least Alien 1 and 2. Alien and Aliens. Yeah. Alien Resurrection, huh? There must be a spot to hookshot up here, because what the fuck? I'm not dealing with all this shit. Fuck you, buddy. There's definitely a crystal switch there. What's that do? Like there's no way they're making me deal with this shit, because I cannot... Cannot get past those. There's no way. Anyway, Alien 3 was was okay. 4 is kind of mad, but you're going to go through them all. No, that's fair. I think even though Alien Resurrection is not the greatest movie, it's still better than some movies. <coughs> Sorry, I didn't mute the mic there. I tried. Alright. It's boss time, y'all. Here we go. I think I did the water temple faster than I did the forest and fire temple. I'm pretty proud of that, actually. That went, that went really well. That temple was way better than the original. I like that a lot, actually. That was nice. The puzzles were a little tricky, but it's like, if you got that Zelda brain, you can figure it out. See, you just gotta spot them torches and use that Din's fire. And you can't get fire arrows until you finish this temple, so... That's what we're gonna do after this, for sure. Anyway, let's say hi to Morpha. Good old Morpha. Good times. Can't wait to fight Morpha. Everyone's favorite boss. Ah! Uh, damn it. I was trying not to get hit. Oh, I tried to do the jump strike. That was greedy. It was greedy. It was greedy, but it would have been dope. I tried for it. Oh, come on, man. Come here, bitch. Oh, my God. Let me, let me hook this bitch. Let me hook her this bitch. Oh, my God. Let me... Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, oh, man. No fair. Damn it! Let me hook this bitch! Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got plans for this. Alright, here we go. Are you fucking serious? Hook that shit, there we go. There you go. With big on sword slaps, this shouldn't take too many hits. Not too many hits at all. Honestly, this bitch probably almost there. Ready? Extra arms doing their doing their thing. We got this. Oh, 
Yeah, get fucked, Morpha. Alright, easy boss. With the big run sword, that saved a lot of time. Got a new work schedule, so Saturday movies are working again. You're posting the next four movies after you decide what they are. Okay, so you got like a you'll have like a schedule set up for which movies are coming up. That's cool. All right. Well, on that note, we beat another temple, y'all. I'll have to come back here for a skull slow, unfortunately, but I could actually do that right away as soon as I grab them fire arrows, which is nice. So I'm probably gonna do that so I don't forget. And hopefully that's the only skull slow I'm missing. Where did the heart container go? Ah, oh, there it is. Gotta get it all! One hundo, baby! Alright, that puts us at 16. Remember, I have two more temples to do. So that's gonna put us at 18 just from the temples. Which means I'm almost done getting all the pieces of heart. Uh, how many do I have right now? I have none. Okay, so I'm still missing eight pieces of heart. Which, I should be able to figure out which ones those are. But yeah, that's another temple down, y'all. Bitchin! Let's go talk to the Sage of Wata. You'll never guess who it is. Oh, look, it's her! I'm so surprised. Uh. Ah, Jesus, what a bird. Funk. I would have expected no less from the man I chose to be my husband. Sora's domain and its people will eventually return to their original state. As a reward, I regret my eternal love to you. Well, that's what I want to say, but I don't think I can offer that now. I have to guard the Water Temple as the Sage of Water. And you, you're searching for Zelda, aren't you? Princess Zelda. You can't hide anything from me. Princess Zelda, she's alive. I can sense it, so don't be discouraged. I can tell that nothing will stop you in your quest for justice and peace. You must take this medallion. Take it respectfully. Take it sexily. Alright, anyway. We did it, guys! The water medallion! The blue coin is mine! Yes, very good. Very good indeed. Yes. You received the water medallion. Rudol awakens the sage and adds her power to yours. Dope! If you see Sheik, please give him my thanks, okay? Sure. I'll give him my thanks. Sure. But first, for finishing the temple. Get ready for a little bit of dopeness. The water rises, baby. As the water rises, the evil is vanishing from the lake, Funk. You did it. Hell yeah, I did it. I'm a beast, dog. I'm a problem. Rudo wanted to thank me? I see. We have to return peace to Hyrule for her sake too, don't we? Indeed. Look at that, Funk. Together, you and Princess Ruto destroyed the evil monster. Once again, the lake is filled with pure water. All is as it was here. Sweet, we got the lake back to normal. You, 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 uh. Like, and on that note, Sue. Hasta la bye bye. Where'd they go? Don't look up. Sue. Too fast, too furious. Okay. So I think the sun coming up might be a little too late, but we'll try it. We'll try it anyways. We might have to make it daytime again real quick. But I might be just in time. Let's see. If I shoot at the sun. Nope. We did it just in time. Alright. So the plaque there says if you shoot an arrow at the morning sun, something will happen. Fire will fly down from the heavens or something like that. And that's how you get the fire arrows. You shoot an arrow at the sun from this plaque when the sun is right in front of you, basically. So we timed that pretty much perfectly. I think they did that on purpose for, like when you finish the temple because that's yeah oh the temple has to or the lake has to be filled with water for it to work too that's the other problem so 
That's why you have to finish the water temple first. But anyway, now we have fire arrows. We can go back in there and get the skull to I missed. So I'm going to do that now because I would love to not have to go back to the water temple ever again. That would be super. So let's make that superness happen now, right now, if we could. That would be cool. Is there anything here at Lake Hylia I need to do? Oh, there's a Skulltal here, too. I need to make sure I get that. Now that I have long shot, I can get the last Skulltal here in Lake Hylia, and I think Lake Hylia will be clear. I think. Unless I didn't get the Skulltal... I'm pretty sure I got all the Skulltalas. We'll just have to keep it, keep track of our uh, our counter things. Okay, so the last Skulltal was bottom floor. I remember that. Uh, which room was it, though? Was it the one... I know it was one of the ones I was locked originally. Was it this one? I don't know which one it was. Anyway. It spawns even if you don't finish the temple. You just can't reach it. Oh, right. You can't actually get to the fire arrows if you shoot the sun. That's true. Yeah. You make a solid point, DJ. That's true. Is this the right way? I already forgot where the damn skull club I'm going for is. Is this it? I forget. Oh, this might be it. I don't know. I'll know when I get there. Yeah, this is it. This is the one. This D1, this D1. Alright, now that I got fire arrows, let's get ourselves a Skull Tula. Skull Tula, baby. So let's get them fire arrows equipped. How do I make them fire arrows? Like that? That's how? Alright. So I don't know if I can land these all at once. Wow, that, is a, that was a brick. Nailed it. Alright, let's go get the last Skulltula, or hopefully, the hopeful last Skulltula. I'm gonna check my map thing as soon as I do. Oh god! I forgot Stolfos were in here. Gotta be careful. Dude, stop chopping me from behind, fool! Dickbag? Is it behind the boxes? It's not. Is it up on the wall? Let me find this box. No. Is it up on the wall above here? Ah, it's on the ceiling. Okay. Alright. Are we done with Skulltals in this place? Yay! Okay. Water Temple's completed. We are Gucci. Happy about that. Let's get the hell out of here, dog. I'm glad it was that easy to get the last Skulltal. I'm glad we got all the other Skulltals along the way. Good riddance to the Water Temple. Not that I hated this. This is actually a better Water Temple run than the original, in my opinion. But... A lot of work for Skulltalas, for sure. Alright. Let's get the hell out of here. I'm Gochi. We good. Let's make a save, bro. We good. Alright. The exit's over here on the opposite side. So according to a user on GameFAQs, they actually removed the fire arrows from... Oh, so they don't actually spawn anymore until you actually fill the lake up? Oh. Interesting. Well, I mean, it's a tease until you actually can fill the lake up, so it's whatever. Maybe because there's ways to cheese your way over there, and they didn't want people to break it. Alright, anyway, we have one skull tool to pick up here. Let me make it nighttime. We should be able to grab that pretty quick. I might actually hook shot up there first. Just to make sure I can. But you gotta hook shot hot up here. On top of this big ass tree. Uh gotta find a good angle to get up there. Uh I wanna say like right here. There we go. And we'll just climb to the branch. Play ourselves a little ditty. Is it YRA? 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 Do you have a YRA to save your money? All right, and there's our skull I think we got all the other skull here in Lake Hylia, but we'll check the map here in a sec when I get this. All right, let's check our map. Did we get all the Skulltalas in Lake Hylia? 
Uh, Lake Hylia, please. Yes, we did. Lake Hylia is clear. Clear as day. All right. Cool beans. 